So, how do condensation particle counters work? Inside the condensation particle counter, or CPC for short, the sampled gas is first drawn through the sample tubing and into the saturation chamber. Inside the saturation chamber, a fluid known as the working fluid is heated, causing fluid molecules to vaporize and create a saturated vapor. The sampled gas and saturated vapor mix together inside the saturator before flowing out of the saturator and into the condenser. Inside the condenser, the mixture is cooled until the vapor becomes supersaturated, at which point the vapor will condense onto the surfaces of any particles that may be present to form droplets, with the particles acting as nuclei for droplet formation. As more vapor condenses onto the droplets, they grow in size until they are large enough to be detected by an optical particle counter that counts particles based on a light scattering technique. As the droplets pass through the laser beam, light is scattered onto a photodiode generating a pulse of electrical current. Each droplet will generate a distinct pulse, so by counting the number of pulses we can tell, in real time, how many particles are present in the sampled gas. So there you have it, a condensed demonstration of how a condensation particle counter works. The Nano Air 10 from Particle Measuring Systems uses CPC technology to enable the detection of airborne particles as small as 10 nanometers. With a 0.1 CFM sample flow rate and an industry-leading false count rate below 1.5 particles per cubic meter, the instrument has been developed specifically to enable nanoparticle contamination to be detected within clean rooms and other ultra-clean environments.